For the last one, I found the intercepts again. Uh, only for the first line. So for 2x minus 3y equals 1, I plugged in 0 for x, and I plugged in 0 for y. And I got these two points, 0 comma negative 1 third and 1 half comma 0. So 0 comma negative 1 third is 0 comma negative 0 0.3. So that's roughly here. And then the second point is 1 half comma 0. So 1 half comma 0 is there. And then I'm connecting these two dots using a dashed line. So that. That. And then I can plug in the origin, which I did uh, right here. So the 0 makes everything go away, leaving behind 0 is greater than 1, which is false. 0 is not greater than 1. So that's telling a lie, so we have to go away from it. So this whole thing gets an x. And then for the other line, this is nearly in, or actually it is in slope-intercept form, so I can just graph it as it is. So I start at negative 4, which is down here. I go up 4 and right one, because the slope is four. And this is less than or equal to, so I make a solid line. So solid line going there, solid line going there. And now I need to pick a test point. Again, I can pick the origin. It's a nice easy point, which I plugged in right there, which gives us zero is less than or equal to negative four. Well, that's false. Zero is greater than negative four. So I have to shade away from the origin relative to the solid line, which means I have to shade to the right. So here again, you can see that the solution is not here because that's where the crosses are. It's not here. That's just where the circles are, but in this big wedge shape there because that's where you have an overlap of both circles and crosses. So the miniature graph would be a solid line, dash line, and then the solution would be here. Hopefully that helps.